welcome back to the channel and this lab is little bit tricky so i request you please watch the video very carefully because i'm going to explain each and every point in detail so first of all just simply log into your credentials and once done with this just simply come back over here now here just simply search for the api open this thing new tab now come back to the lab instruction click on the task number one now just simply scroll up and here you can see ensure that you have need to enable all this api so just simply copy this api name just simply copy like this come back over here click on this library just simply wait just simply paste the name like this hit enter wait for a second now just simply open this thing new tab now come back over here now copy this data catalog api just simply copy like this make sure that you do not copy this comma just simply copy like this come back over here paste hit enter wait for a second and open this thing in new tab now again come back over here now just simply copy this api name come back over here just simply search for this and just simply open this thing new tab now just simply come back over here and here you can see it's already enabled so just simply click on this close and hit already enabled then click on this close and for this it's not enabled so just simply click on this enable button now just simply wait until it's get enabled And it's done and once it's done you can now just simply close this tab and this tab as well now what you do we have to just search for the data flex open this thing new tab come back to the lab instructions and here you can see for me the given region of us east for so i'm going to choose that for you it might be different so just make sure that you have to just simply choose that region which is given on your lab instruction page now just be scroll down now here on the point number one what they mentioned we have to simply create a data flex so just simply copy this name carefully and make sure that whenever you copy the name for any product just make sure that you don't have to copy any extra space okay just make sure of that thing if you copy any extra space then you will not get a score on that particular task now just simply copy this name come back over here just simply come back over here now click on this checkbox like this and then click on this get started now just simply remove this unwanted pop-up now click on this manage just simply wait and then click on this create and now just simply paste a name and as you can know for me the given region of us east 4 so i'm going to choose that for you it might be different so just simply choose accordingly that now just simply scroll down and then click on this create now just simply wait for at least two to three minutes And it's finally done now just simply click on this name now if you just simply come back to the lab instructions and we are done with this point now i request you please pay attention over here because i know most of you guys are going to make a mistake over here so what you do we have to just simply click, create two zones so first zone must be in raw zone and then second must be in the curated so first of all what you do just simply copy this name carefully just simply copy like this come back over here click on this add zone now just simply wait and now just simply paste the name now here you can see this is a raw zone so that's why the type 
must be draw zone okay now we don't have to make any changes now just me click on this create button now again come back over here and from here just me copy this name carefully make sure that you do not copy any extra space now just me copy like this come back over here now again click on this add zone just simply wait now just paste the name over here make sure that this is a curated zone so that's why the type must be curated i'm again saying this is a curated zone so just make sure that the type must be curated zone okay once you're done with this now click on this create button so we are done with these two points okay now what you do in the raw zone we have to just simply assess it with the google cloud storage bucket and the name must be customer engagement so basically what you do just simply copy this name carefully just me copy like this come back over here now what you do click on this raw customer zone just simply click over here just simply wait and from here just me cross verify that you are in the raw customer zone now click on this add assist just simply wait now now click on this add and now here you can see for the type on lab instruction what they mentioned we have to choose google cloud storage over here now from here just me click over here and then just have to choose the storage bucket now for the name just me paste the name which just copy this one customer engagement now for the bucket name what you do just me copy this name carefully like this come back over here just me paste over here wait for a second and here we will get a green tick just simply wait for that and we got a green tick once you get a green tick then click on this done then click on this continue just me click over here and then click on this continue and now just me click on this submit so we are done with this part now what you do we have to just me create one zone in curated so just me copy this name carefully just me copy like this come back over here again click on this back arrow just let simply like this now make sure that you have to click on this curated customer zone so just me click over here wait for a second now and then click on this add assist just simply wait and then click over here and now for this what we have to choose we have to choose big query as a type so it's already chosen so we are not going to make any changes now just simply paste a name now for the data set just simply copy this name carefully like this way come back over here just simply paste and just simply wait and here we will get the green tick once you got a green tick then click on this done then click on this continue then click on this continue and then click on submit so we are done with task number one now if you just simply click on this check my progress we will get a score without any issue just simply wait and watch and if you make any kind of mistake that time you might face an unnecessary error over here so just simply wait and let's see and as you can see we got a green tick on first attempt now task number two is little bit tricky so i request you please pay attention over here so basically what we will do we have to create a tag template and for that this is a name so just we copy this name carefully come back over here click on this tag template now just we wait and then click on this create tag template now just we wait and here just we paste a name and as you remember for me the given location of us east for for you it might be different from here you can just be cross verify okay so just we choose that location for here now just me scroll down and then click on this add field now here what you do we have to create two fields so for the first field name it must be this name so just me copy like this come back over here scroll down now just me paste a name and for the type it must be enumerated like this way now for the value just me copy this value carefully come back over here and paste now again click on this add value now copy this value carefully come back over here paste and then click on done so we are done with first field now for the second field just me copy this name carefully just me copy like this scroll down and then click on this add value just me scroll down and now just me paste a name like this and for the type it must be again enumerated now for the value one just me copy this name come back over here and paste now for the second value just me copy this name come back over here click on here and just me paste so we have done this second field as well now click on this done now click on this create now i request to please be on the page do not move forward with the another task just simply wait until you get a page like this just simply wait and this kind of page once you saw this page then only click on this search just simply wait and then click on this data picks and here you can see raw customer zone let me just remove this unwanted pop-up and if you are not able to find this raw customer zone just refresh the page and then click on this data place and then click on this raw customer zone just me click over here wait for a second now and then just me wait and click on this add tags now just me click over here and just me choose the template which you just created and then click on this ok wait for a second and from here just me choose a yes and from here just me choose a yes so we are done with all these things just me click on this save
and it's done now if you just me come back to the lab instruction and click on the check my progress for this task we will get a score without any issue and if the score is not updated no need to worry just simply wait for a couple of seconds and you will get a green tick without any issue and task number three is very easy so just me copy this username like this way come back over here click on the secure wait for a second now click on this arrow then click on this arrow and here you can see data set name called raw customer zone now click on this data set and then open this table name called customer engagement just me click over here then click on this grant access now just me paste a username which is just copy and then click on this blank space now for the role just me choose the dataplex and from here just me choose the dataplex data writer just like this and then click on this save now if you just me come back over here and click on this check my progress you will not get a score because lab take time to update the score on task number three meanwhile what we'll do we will move forward with the task number four so basically what you do just let me come back over here and just me come back to the dashboard and just simply activate your cloud shell it will take a couple of seconds so just me wait for that now click on continue now in the description box of this video i will share all these commands so basically just let me come back over here click on the task number one just me scroll up and from here just me copy this region just me copy like this come back over here and paste and make sure that there is no extra face after equal to now just me copy all these command come back over here paste like this hit enter wait for a second and then click on authorize now just me wait for this command get execute and it's done now if we just come back to the lab instruction and now if we just me check the score on the task number three we will get a score without any issue and as i said because lab take time to update the score now if we just scroll down and click on the check my progress of task number four we will get a score without any issue now task number five is very easy first of all just me copy this name carefully come back over here and then click on this process now just me wait and then click on this create task and here you can see create task in check data quality just me click on this create task now just me click over here and just me choose sales links now just me paste a name like this now for this gsp file just me click on this browse wait for a second and here you can see one file name called bucket name called quick lab dq config just me click over here and just me choose this file and then click on this select so we are done with this now i request you please pay attention over here so basically for this what you'll do just me copy this result name just me copy like this come back over here click on this browse now just play wait and here you can see order dq data set just me click on this radio button and then click on this select and it's done now just me paste the name over here which is just copy this result table name like this now just me scroll down now here the service account just simply choose the compute engine service account like this now just me scroll down and then click on this continue and then make sure that it must be immediate and then click on create now it is going to take at least five minutes so just simply wait for at least five minutes and after that this job will be succeed so let's wait and let's see
and as you can see we waited for at least more than three minutes now if i just simply refresh the page let's see and it's still running now just simply wait for two minutes more and after that we will check Now if I just simply refresh the page, let's see. And finally, it's succeed. Now if I just come back over here and click on this check my progress, we will get a score without any issue. And if the score is not updated, no need to worry, just simply wait for a couple of more minutes and the score will update for sure. And that's the way we have to complete this lab. If you still have any doubts, please do let me in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a good day guys.